A $100 million opportunity to improve the quality of life for people here in Indianapolis. That funding from the Lilly Endowment will address challenges facing the black community in Indianapolis and Marion County. Now, before that money is dispersed, the National Urban League and others, they want to see what people have to say about it. Fox 59's Courtney Crown joining us in the studio tonight. And Courtney, how can our viewers watching right now share their opinions on what issues this money should tackle? Well, Fanchon, there's an online survey they can take right now that must be complete by Friday. This is the final step after a year of talking to experts, grassroots organizations, business leaders, and students. It's $100 million. It's a once in a generation kind of situation. Marshawn Wally is leading the Indianapolis African American Quality of Life Initiative. The goal is to understand, prioritize, and address issues facing the local African American community and also look for opportunities. Is it, you know, housing? Is it business development? Is it education? Is it health? These are a lot of uh, issues that we have the opportunity to think about collectively as a community to try to figure out how we can move the black community forward. Last August, Lilly Endowment Inc. announced a $100 million grant for the National Urban League to find solutions in Indianapolis. The past year has been filled with listening sessions between the community, the Indianapolis Urban League, and the African American Coalition of Indianapolis. We're trying to get a collection of ideas from grassroots to business leaders to try to figure out what is the priority and where the money should go. Now they want community members to voice their opinions through an online survey. We want to make sure that as we move, we move together. Indianapolis Urban League President and CEO Tony Mason will work alongside the coalition and others to determine who should get a piece of the grant funding based on the priorities. In essence, I will then carry forward to the National Urban League recommendations that have come from our community about the efforts, initiatives, and projects that should be supported with the funding. Ultimately, Mason hopes our community can look back and notice strides made through this funding and more. Addressing the achievement gap from an education standpoint that there is now more affordable housing in the community for black families or for families that are struggling. Well, Mason says they hope to give an update on the priorities for the funding in August. He hopes the money will begin going to organizations doing the work by the holidays. We have a link to the survey on fox59.com. Dan. All right, Courtney, thank you.